Hey guys, so today I am doing a updated what's in my bag video. The last time I did one of these was back in June of last year, I think, May or June, something along those lines. And since then I've changed my bag and I've changed what I'm carrying around. As you can see, if you've seen my other video is I have downgraded on bag size. This one is a lot smaller and this bag is from H&M and I think I paid about £10 for it so it was a good valued bag. Obviously not real leather because I paid £10 for it but it's still nice good quality, it's nice and soft. Anyway let's move on to what is in my bag. First up we have my purse which is a pink painted leather Ted Baker purse. I love this purse because it's got plenty of room for cards and for piling loads of receipts in and a nice little rose gar rose glass rose gold clasp for where your money is kept. Not that I have any money in here apart from the grand total of 30p. Don't think I'll be buying much with that. Then we've got some Wilkinson's own brand ibuprofen. Exciting times, but you never know when you're gonna need some pain relief, so I always try and carry around a box of just tablets. Then we have got the current book I am reading which is You're the One That I Want by Javan Fletcher. I only bought this yesterday so I'm only sort of 40 pages in but I like to carry a book with me so I can read on the tube or if I have breaks in between classes. Then we have my pencil case which I use for uni. You'll notice I don't have a notebook in this bag because I normally take my laptop with me to class so if I need to take any notes I'll take it on that rather than writing it out. But in this pencil case, I just keep a pen, some post-it notes, and if you're wondering where this pencil case is from, it is the Dan and Phil Pixel pencil case from their website. As I've said before, I own quite a lot of their merch, so this is just one of the things I own. Then we have got my Oyster card and student ID. My Oyster card holder is still the same one that I had last time. It's the Wicked one that flaps open like that. It's very destroyed though, could probably do with getting a new one. And then I have my student ID, which of course I need to get into uni and out of uni. It's really annoying if you forget it. I, a lot of times I've walked up to uni, forgotten my student ID and I have to walk all the way back to halls to pick it up. Then we have my headphones. These are just some cheap ones from Tiger. I think they cost me about £4 yesterday. I picked these up yesterday because I've lost my other in-ear headphones and I don't like wearing over-ear headphones on the tube just because I can never hear where the tube stops are and I tend to zone out quite a lot and then miss my stop so this is a lot easier just to pull one ear out when I think I'm getting near my stop and they're not the greatest sound quality but they're good just for throwing into my bag. Then we have got two kind of beauty items. We have got a Vaseline in a little little thing that I got for Christmas with a mirror which is quite handy and then I normally always have the either the lip gloss or the lipstick that I'm wearing and I haven't got any on today but this must be from yesterday. It is the Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss from Soap and Glory in the shade Charm Offensive and I like this one. It's quite an opaque lip gloss. Don't know why I always feel like moving my hand but I do. Then we have got a packet of tissues. I don't even know where these are from. I think they're from Poundland and you get like a big set of them for like a pound or something but my nan always gets these and I never know where she gets them from but I always seem to have a packet. Then we have my Carex Strawberry Laces Refreshing Hand Gel which smells incredible. It literally smells like strawberry laces and I love using this when I've been on the tube and then my hands smell all nice and germ free. Then we have got some extras, spearmint, spearmint? Yes, spearmint chewing gum. You'll notice in my last What's My Bag video I had the big tub, but I've lost that somewhere in my room at home, so I need to find that, but for now I just keep packets of gum in my bag. And this one hasn't emptied everywhere, which is good. I don't think it'd be a What's In My Bag video if it didn't have a random pile of receipts that had just sat in my bag. So let's have a look and see what these are. We've got a receipt from Tiger, which is a sort of stationary bits and bobs shop, for some Dutch waffles and some origami paper. Clearly I was having an exciting day there and that was for five pounds in total. Don't remember spending that much, oh well. Then we've got this, which has got Harry, my favorite Harry Potter movie book, character and favorite Harry Potter food because I went to the Harry Potter Society last night and we had to write all these things down and I must have just shoved them into my bag afterwards. Then I have got a receipt from Sainsbury's from, this looks quite old. This looks really old. Oh, it's only from the end of January, so it's not that old. It's just 
quite a battered receipt and this is for my food shop for the week which came to the grand total of 24.75 expensive food shopping is and then finally i've just got a receipt from the harrow forum calf which is just our little uni coffee shop for three pound sixty which I think was probably for a sandwich and some popcorn. On to the last sort of couple of items I have in my bag. One of them is my keys, which just have my uni house keys on and my house key for home. But yes, just my uni house keys on the same lanyard as last time. As you can see, it's a lot more filthy now. I can really replace it because it's supposed to be white and now it's pretty much grey. And then little Paddington keyring because Paddington, Paddington, I can't speak today, because Paddington is so cute. Then we have a little compact mirror that my friend Katie got me in Turkey a couple of years back. And I love this mirror because it's a great sort of size to shove in your bag. Then we have got finally my phone, which is the iPhone 5 and I have the Danville pixel case on the back. So that was everything that is in my bag. It's completely empty now, apart from a little bit of the chewing gum wrapper in there. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and remember to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you know when my next video is. And I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.